<laughs> Budapest, once being three cities but now wrapped up into one, you definitely have plenty of great options. My wife and I will attempt to show you just a glimpse of the things you can see and do here in this wonderful city. From eating, exploring and well more eating. So let's begin our first couple of days in the heart of Europe. So this is our first day in Budapest exploring, can't wait. We're actually gonna go check out a croissant place that's meant to be like one of the best in Budapest. So yeah, let's go check it out. There are many great artisanal bakeries in Budapest. Freya has won best croissant in the country several times now. What makes them so unique is they actually grow their own wheat and produce their own flour just for their croissants only. The most popular croissant is the pistachio flavor, which we'll be definitely trying today. It's like buttery, flaky, Awesome sweetness with the pistachio and that bit of that nutty flavor. Everything is great. What I really like about Budapest is that you, know, you have these beautiful churches you can just sit and admire. I can't wait to see more of these historical buildings. And now we're going to go head on to um, the Ferris wheel and check out some views. Because it's a good souvenir, the inventor of the Rubik's Cube is from Budapest and you know I never got one before and I kind of want to be able to solve it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I don't know. Very cool. <laughs> So it was pretty, it was okay. It just goes around three times really fast. And if you get sick easily, it's not the best experience. I'd still say it's worth it because you get some nice views. But my wife on the other hand, she probably has something different to say about it. Yeah, so I just saw this Michael Jackson tree. I don't know what it's about, and if anyone's watching, write a comment down below and let me know. Maybe he performed here at some point, but yeah, I'd love to know, it's really cool. Right? I don't know if I can move more. Do more more. He would be so proud of you. Oh. <laughs> After that thrilling Ferris wheel ride, we're going to go check out this retro museum. Yay! <laughs> So I just bought Bambi. It's the soda drink for Hungary. It kind of tastes like Fanta, more of a mellow Fanta. It's really nice. Bambi power. <laughs> Bambi power. <laughs> My beautiful wife enjoying a Bambi. <laughs> Sounds like she's drinking the deer from Walt Disney. <laughs> Looking like the diner from Back to the Future, there was plenty of fun things to see at this retro museum. Our favorite was this replica of a Hungarian 80s newsroom. Finally, we could report the news to the world. The Hungarian manufacturing giant has prepared for the, the increased capacity. <laughs> Is. <laughs> She's just casually playing a 
police game. <laughs> this is an old school police car. Very cool. <laughs> so how was the retro museum? It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. It's so cool to see like all the toys, the police car, photo opportunities, pretend to be a, a news reporter. I definitely go check it out. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Beautiful artwork in Budapest can be found in museums but also on the street. Some obvious and well, some not so obvious. It's a great opportunity though to take some photos, so keep an eye out. Uh, after that cool museum we're gonna go get some food. So excited, it's my first Hungarian food. Don't know what to get but we'll see. So we were lucky to get a table since we didn't book ahead. With this complimentary bread, I was excited to try their paprika paste. Yep. This is spicy, right? It's spicy. <laughs> we also had beef stew with dumplings and goulash. Both tasted fantastic and I can't wait to try some more Hungarian food. Please leave the train upon arrival. Goodbye. So many stairs. With the Matthias Church in the background, this lookout point, Fisherman Bastion, was built in 1902 and is a great place to see some stunning views, especially with the sun setting. This confectionery has a huge selection of cakes. If you struggle to pick something, I suggest their Rushworm Cream Pastry, as you can't get this anywhere else. Uh, that was amazing. I can't believe I got to try the famous cake. It's been here since 1827, this confectionery, and I am so full, and it was some of the best cake I've ever had. I don't think I could have dinner now. That was just, oh, you have to come here and try yourself. Built in 1265 and right next to the Hungarian Presidential Palace, this beautiful castle is a place you must visit. It also provides spectacular views of the city.
when it comes to a cup of coffee, you're definitely spoiled for choices in Budapest. From the more cozy hipster coffee shops, to the old school coffee houses. New York Cafe opened in 1894 and it's quite expensive, but it's definitely an experience you should try at least once when visiting Budapest. Okay, uh, day two and we're pretty tired from all the walking yesterday. So we got a coffee at Bluebird Cafe. That was amazing, really good coffee. And now we're gonna go check out Central Market Hall. This market hall is a mixture of fresh produce, baked goods, and a lot of souvenirs on the top floor, as well as a small food court. It's definitely worth a visit just to see how massive this market is. My favorite place was the strudel shop, where we tried a delicious cheese curd slice. Now we were determined to do the famous walk over at least one bridge. It was however extremely windy and very cold. As you walk across Liberty Bridge, just take a moment to look up and see some great sculptures of falcons and the Hungarian coat of arms. I really wanted to take a picture standing on the actual bridge but I was just too scared of falling off. If only I had that confidence to get that insta pick. This cave is actually a church and was blocked off during the communist era with a giant concrete wall. The Catholic church did not regain its chapel until 1989 and finally the wall was demolished. As you wander around the cave, grab a free audio guide so you can listen to some really great stories. So after nearly freezing to death, we searched for the closest thermal bath and ended up here. This Turkish style bath is over 300 years old and provides rooftop views of the river. Also, it's actually a little bit cheaper than the most popular Seycheni bath. You have to at least go to one thermal bath when visiting Budapest. It's a great way to relax those muscles from all the sightseeing. How do you, how do you say it? Kurtas Kalac. How do you pronounce pronounce it? Kurt Kurt or Yeah, perfect. Amazing as always. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's kind of a wrong with this during the winter, nice and warm. The Simpler Farmers Market is a good place to talk with locals and try some fresh produce. From local cheese, snacks, jams and baked goods. It's a really nice relaxed atmosphere compared to this place at night. This market is located in one of the pioneers of ruined bars called Simpler Kurt. Visiting the ruined bar at night is another great way to see this place come alive. Whether you want to party hard or buy some local cheese, definitely check this place out.
buy music here. CDs, if you still have a CD player. What do you buy? I don't know. <laughs> it's vegan though. Okay. Oh, it's got... That's really good. It's got uh, quince paste inside. Really nice. That was an amazing um, farmer's market. It was so cool to see it during the day, the ruin bar. So now we're very hungry. I'm gonna go get some langosh for the first time. Can't wait. Deep fried dough smothered with sour cream and cheese. You really can't go wrong with this wonderful street food. We chose the classic langosh, but there are options to supersize it with a bunch of extras. Whatever you choose, definitely grab one while you're here. Hold it like a calzone. This beautiful basilica was finished in 1905 and contains the actual mummified hand of King Saint Stephen. What I really enjoyed was hearing the sounds echo through the basilica during the Sunday Mass. This was quite a unique experience in itself. For a historical ride, catch the oldest metro in all of Europe. Built in 1894, this little underground metro is a really unique experience. <laughs> It's very cool to uh, see these like old school train stations. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's yeah, really cool experience. Once you catch the iconic M1 line, you'll end up here at the amazing Hero Square. This column with the Archangel, Gabriel, on the very top can be seen from afar. As you approach the square, the small details of each sculpture is really something to admire. You also have two art museums on each side of the square. The Hall of Art Museum, showcasing more modern, contemporary art, and the Museum of Fine Arts, showing international and Hungarian art. Newly renovated in 2018, it's a very popular place, so book in advance. Just only a five minute walk from Hero Square, Budapest Zoo is a great way to relax as you wander around looking at cute animals. But don't forget to look at the buildings too. This zoo was built in 1912 and you can see beautiful architecture with carvings of animals all around the zoo. This huge park can easily take up a day's worth of sightseeing. If you're here in the winter time, you can even ice skate. Or visit Vajda Hunyat Castle, a beautiful fairy tale like castle that was built in 1896. It's really nice to just wander around and admire the castle and its surroundings. If you need some better fortunes in your life, make sure to check out the anonymous statue and rub its pen for good luck.
For less than a euro, this is one of the most iconic tram rides in the world. As it follows the curb of the Danube River, you can see great views of Buddha Castle and its surroundings. Catching in at night or day is something worth doing at least once. You can take the tram from Market Hall and end up here at the Parliament House. A UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987, this would have to be one of the most popular tourist destinations in Budapest. This impressive building took 17 years to make, and visiting at night, the House of Parliament lights up and becomes an incredible sight to see. But arrive just before sunset, and walk down along the river to see the shoes on the Danube bank. This is a haunting yet beautiful tribute to a horrific time in history. These shoes create a moment to reflect and pay respect to the thousands of innocent Hungarian Jews who lost their lives.